everybody and welcome to Digital Discovery, our exploration of the collections of the museum for you, our early learners. My name is Liz and I'm the Early Education Specialist here at Berkshire Museum and I'm going to guide you on today's discovery. So let's just jump right on in. Hi, I'm Kendra. I work here in the education department and I teach a lot of science programs. And every day I walk past a rather large reminder of just how much science and exploration and curiosity matter when it comes to understanding our place. And that reminder goes by the name of Wally. Uh, he's a stegosaurus. There he is. Uh, what's not to love about Wally? He makes a great unofficial mascot, photo op. He's greeted every visitor to the museum since he arrived here in 1997. Maybe you've passed him so many times you don't even notice him anymore, or maybe you wave every time you drive past. And that's what I do, at least. Uh, Wally hasn't always stood sentinel outside our museum. He was created in the 1960s, not far from here at the Louis Paul Jonas Studio in Hudson, New York. And for three decades, he delighted visitors to the Cleveland Museum before retiring, like so many do, to the Berkshires. And uh, not bad for an animal who travels about four miles an hour. Um, pretty much any name we might call Wally would be based on long-standing misconceptions about his kind. Uh, it was a local elementary school student who gave him the name Wally after hearing that the massive stegosaurus had a brain about the size of a walnut. That's not true. It was closer to the size of a lime. Uh, the name Stegosaurus was coined by Othniel Marsh, an American paleontologist, and he named Stegosaurus because he thought the plates were like roof shingles and means roofed lizard. We could also call Wally a dinosaur, which was a name invented by Sir Richard Owen. It means terrible lizard. Owen was wrong about dinosaurs being lizards. They're not. They are actually considered archosaurs like modern birds and crocodiles. Unlike lizards, dinosaurs were probably mesothermic, meaning that they were somewhere between ectothermic or cold-blooded reptiles and endothermic mammals. Scientists suspect those signature plates may have played a key role in regulating his body temperature. The planet these creatures inhabited looked and felt very different from the Earth that we're familiar with. The land that's now our home here in Western Mass was a subtropical swamp. And those muddy grounds were well suited for preserving tracks left by dinosaurs and other animals. And in fact, the first dinosaur tracks to be scientifically described are in Holyoke, not too far from here. Thanks so much for having me here to tell your friends about our pal Wally, Liz. Okay, guys, now we are sad that Wally's going on his vacation because we will miss him greatly. But he will be back soon. So when you see him in the near future, give him a wave. Wish him well, or when he's actually back, back, come by and visit him, because I'm sure he missed you. From all of us at Berkshire Museum, we just want to say we love you, Wally the Stegosaurus, and we can't wait for you to get back from your vacation. See you soon.